To make money online, your passion for your topic and audience has to shine through. Like my mentor Stuart Ross says in the Launch You program, you have to give before you get. And this is exactly the mindset of Jacques Dutoy, who I'm collaborating with in this video. Hey, I'm Alan, I'm your online mentor here to help you grow your YouTube channel and make money online. And in this video, I'm collaborating with Jack Dutoy from Cape Town, South Africa, an ex-tour guide whose business was struck by COVID and who is now instead an aspiring online entrepreneur building up his YouTube channel. And I want to share with you his contagious passion for helping others online. You can check out Jacques' website, course and YouTube channel. They're linked down below. And at the end, you'll get his most valuable advice for you when you're building your YouTube channel, monetizing it and making money online. So let's get down to business. Oh, by the way, if you want to collab like this, just put it in the comments below. We'll set something up and then just get it going. It's as easy as just booking a Zoom call, recording it, and then creating our videos from it. So in this interview, I asked Jacques a couple of questions about his online business journey, and this is what he replied. Hey Jacques, what are your goals and passions? You know, if, if we go to my, to my blog website, I proclaim it big onto the banner. I want to help a thousand people reach financial success via their own online businesses. And how am I going to keep track of it? I want a thousand testimonials from people that came in contact with me and got inspired to say, I want to say no to the nine to five and yes to a, to, to a business that could potentially lead to an automated income. The thousand people was just a magic number that, that came to me. But I think there's also a, a form of, how can I say it? it? It makes you feel good inside when you're able to take someone else by the hand and say, let's do this. To being an entrepreneur is, is sometimes a lonely path, but if you oh. take hands, like us doing now this collaboration. This is us taking hands to say, Let, let's go together. It was so amazing for me to be on a tour bus and to showcase our country to, to the travelers. And when the tour is finished, for the travelers to come to me and say, wow, what a trip. Thank you. Here's an envelope of gratification and, and all those kind of things. And I'm like, wow, this is really cool. But if you can change someone's life and their future in a positive way, that for me is something that I'm striving for and really building towards because sometimes there are people that just needs a little bit of a push. I'm the kind of guy that just run head first into, into something. So <laughs> I had a little bit of resistance from the, the people around me that were saying, are you sure that this is the right thing to do? Shouldn't you get a, a, a salary job or something like that? And, but I can see where an online business can, can lead to. And that's it. that, that would be my ultimate, ultimate goal is to lead with example and to show others this is what's possible. What have you created for your audience so far? I've just finished my first online course and I'm super, super proud of it. After two years of doing my research and, and all of that, and uh, I teamed up with a gentleman from a podcast studio here in Cape Town. It's, it's called um, Visualize, Create and Kickstart Your Online Business. Very, very proud of it. I've got my first uh, ebook. It's basically the script from, from the online course. You know, in the beginning, when you when you start to dream about your online business, it's yes, eventually I want to have this, I want to have that. I really put my heart and soul into those two projects. I was wondering, Jacques, how does YouTube fit into your business? The YouTube channel, I do for two reasons, I have to admit. Number one, I'm a little bit of, a, of an entertainer. Prior to my 12 years working as a tour guide, I worked for many years in the restaurant industry. And again, I just absolutely love it. Normally, people work for a year or two when they're a student, they work as a, as a server. I worked for many years, purely because I saw every single table I saw as my little business. And I never thought about, okay, there's two people walking in the door, hmm, small tip. Uh -uh. I thought, okay, two people, how am I going to make them laugh? How am I going to make them a returning customer? And I never thought about the money and the money came automatically. I made more money than all the other waiters on the floor. When I got people on my tour buses, I said to myself, these guys are going to leave in 10 days and they're going to hug me at the airport and say, what a trip. And I did that and the money followed. And that is the kind of passion that I want to put into this community of, of entrepreneurs. I think if you're able to, to build those to a YouTube channel and a, and a blog website, to be able to advertise and monetize your own skills. Maybe there's somebody that's now listening to this to this video and they're like, oh, I got a nine to five job and 
how can I create an online course or an or a online business and write a blog, etc. You know, there's, there's a guy that sells an online course on how to bake the perfect sourdough bread. And he sells that for $50. Okay. $50. How wow. to bake a bread. If he can do that, any other type of skill can be monetized. That's great. And you're mentioning automated income. What about the word or the phrase passive income? What do you think about that? I wouldn't ever want to say a passive income because I don't think a passive income is true. There's always some sort of work that you need to do behind the scenes, but an automated income is possible, definitely. And would you share with us your relationship with affiliate marketing? <laughs> that is a touchy subject because in the beginning of my online journey, I thought, wow, Affiliate marketing, this is amazing, but it didn't work out too well for me. Maybe I didn't have the, the correct products. Obviously, I, I didn't have a, a, a big enough audience because you do need a little bit of an audience in order to promote your affiliate links too. Let me answer you like this. Does affiliate marketing work? Yes. Do you need a big audience for it? Yes. But there's one other thing that is, I think, super critical. So if anybody out there is now saying, I really want to try affiliate marketing. My biggest tip for you is promote products that you A, would use yourself or services that you would use yourself and things that you are absolutely passionate about because your audience is not stupid. Nobody wants to be sold to. Nobody wants being, you know, the seller or the sleazy salesman type of thing. But if you're passionate about it, it's a different story. Affiliate marketing is great, but yeah, just, just keep on those, on those tips and tricks. Promote what is also your own passion and then it, then it will work for sure. I'm so excited for your future, Jacques. Uh, what's next for you? I think I would also like to uh, go into a membership site. I've created a Facebook page for young entrepreneurs because I, again, believe that if people of the same interest gather together, there's power in that. Of course. And this journey of an online business is not supposed to be a single alone type of journey. You need to reach out, Sorry, you need to share your secrets because if you keep it for yourself, other people will not share theirs. But the more you give is the more that you will receive. I'm a big believer in that. So if I can reach a stage where I'm having a membership site where people come to share their experience, struggles, solutions, etc., then then I'm going to be happy. I'm wondering, what's your most valuable advice and tips for the viewers of this video on this channel? Well, when you start your channel, you really need to niche down and make your first, I would say, 80 to 100 videos needs to be on a specific topic. Now, somebody will say, yeah, but this big influencer are now making videos on all sorts of different things. Yes, that is true. But in the beginning, they got to be known for something. They became a master of a specific topic. Now it's a few years later and they've grown a massive audience and they are tasting that the automated income success. Now is the time to introduce your audience to something else. If you want to have that success uh, on YouTube initially, focus on one thing, promote that one thing until you are known for it and your upload schedules and always do it consistently, etc. Yes, of course. But I think the most important thing is don't jump around. Don't upload something today about laptops and the next thing about gardening and then about fitness. I've made that mistake myself. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying that that it's best to get known for something that that'll be my biggest advice. So I hope you got inspired by Jack's tremendous passion and energy for his business and growing his YouTube channel so that you'll want to keep working, keep going yourself. If you want to collab like this in the future, just put it in the comments below and we'll set something up, okay? Smash the like button if this was valuable to you. Next, watch these videos about how to grow your YouTube channel and make money online and I'll see you in the next one. All the best, good luck!